Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a wheat farm. So this is the wheat farm right over here. It only uses one villager which is really nice. This will produce wheat. It will also produce seeds sometimes. They're not as common as the wheat but they do tend to drop seeds as well. You can also use this with potatoes and carrots too and also beetroot. And with beetroot you also get the seeds too but this is mainly just for wheat. As the other version of the of this sort of farm only uses only gives you bread, which is kind of annoying sometimes, as you don't really have a proper proper AFKable wheat farm. So this is the AFKable wheat farm right here. So how it works is the villager will be collecting items. He will have a he only has a certain inventory space. He has maybe eight slots. In those eight slots, you have to give him like a load of a bunch of wheat seeds and a couple of wheat as well, and that will clog up his inventory space. That means he'll start dropping items instead of collecting them, and these hopper minecarts will collect all the items that he drops and places it into this chest right here. I've only had this farm running for a little bit, and I did fill up his whole inventory. That kind of speeds up the process a little bit. But if you, you don't have to fill up his whole inventory, you can just give him a stack of wheat seeds or something. And that should work after a while. It does take a long time, depending on how many wheat seeds you actually give him. So I gave him a lot of them, and it took maybe two, or maybe less, a couple of, like maybe a little bit of time just for him to start producing stuff. So I'm going to show you how to build this design. This is also expandable, meaning you can make this bigger and bigger if you want to. And... I'll sh the item list will be in the description below, so if you're building this on survival, then if you want the item list, then go check it out right now. Just a quick message to all my viewers and people who want to build wheat farms. I want to say that only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so why not consider subscribing? It's like free and you'll probably get quite a lot out of it anyway because I'll be producing loads of videos on different types of farms. I do quite a few videos on iron farms too, so if you want, if you like those sort of farms, then consider subscribing. First part we're going to do is we're going to be doing the redstone, which is the best part, obviously. So you're going to be building a small platform. This one's going to this platform is going to be around nine blocks wide, or nine blocks in all direction. So I have four blocks here, one here, the number four. One, two, three, four. This is a nine block wide line. I'm gonna build a extra bit to it. So one, two, three, four. So we're gonna be making like a cube shape. This is gonna be what the rails will be on. So we're just gonna be making a really nice cube shape. This will be where the rail will be on. So you should have a platform similar to this. Um, now we're going to be doing the rail, so we're going to be using power rail. So I'll start with putting the power rail across here. I'll show you the formation the power rail needs to be in. So just put, place the pla place the power rail. I'll move that out of the way, that's going to be quite annoying. And there, that should be fine. You just need to put the power rail in this sort of loop. It'll be going round, you have the normal rail, and it'll let it turn. And you'll be doing this on the whole thing. If you're making more than one of these, then you're going to need to do this more than once. You can always have have the same rail line if you want. That is definitely advised. And also if you don't have much rail, like you find rail, getting rail quite difficult just because of the resources, then you can always build a rail duper. I've got one of them on my channel right now. There should be a link in the, in the corner. There should be a card right now appearing in the corner with the link to that video. Okay, I need to put a hopper there. So now we're going to be putting a hopper down here, a chest, this will be collecting the drops, you can make this bigger if you want, but I'm just going to keep it how it is now. Now here comes the redstone bit, the best bit, well that is arguably the best bit. So put a comparator, then you need a block, you need a redstone torch, then you need a block up here, then you need a redstone repeater here. And they block there. Now that should power all that. So when items go down here, it will power this torch, which will turn off this rail, stopping the minecart from travelling anywhere. 
very simple contraption right here. Next, we're going to need your we're going to need your slab, which you should have. You're going to need to place this in the center. So I haven't actually counted out where the center is. So this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, that should be fine. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the center. You're going to need to place your um, dirt blocks. I'm using farmland just because it's more convenient for me, and also more creative. Place your water bucket in here. As you can see, it doesn't flood down to the ground just because this is waterlogged and it's it just can't go down there. I don't really have a good exp explanation why, because I don't really need to. So you're just placing farmland or, or normal dirt and then hoeing it after. So you're just placing this all across, this is what the villager is going to farm up. And you're going to get pretty much everything that comes out of this ground. Next thing, you're going to need to place a block here. It just stops the minecart from com coming off. You don't want that to happen. You definitely don't want that to happen. Now you're going to need your glass. You can use any block, but I quite like glass because it looks nice. You can look into the village and watch him farm. I know that sounds a bit weird, but you can do that if you want. I like using glass. You can use any sort of block. I do quite like spawn proofing the top area as well. Just to stop mobs from spawning, you do get the occasional zombie that will spawn and kill the villager, and you definitely don't want that to happen. Because it's quite it's quite a bit, lot of effort if you're just starting out and you have to transport a villager all the way back up here. Okay, now we're going to need your compost. Place it there. That's why we have the slab there, so we can easily place this in. And you're going to need your glowstone. I like using a glow, a glow sort of block so no mobs can spawn on top of this platform. Then we're going to be putting some some trapdoors here. So you should have this area here. The villager won't be able to get through there because they're not smart enough. Well, because they're too big. I mean, they're definitely not very smart still. Now we can place in our villager here. The next thing we need, I didn't have enough inventory space to get this, is we're going to need a lever. He should be a farmer villager, just saying. He shouldn't be able to plant anything because he doesn't have any items. Just put some levers across here. That should be all of them. Just turn on all the... All the rails, like that. That They should all be turned on. Now, we're going to need a hopper minecart. We're going to place it down here. And that should go across like this, it shouldn't stop any at all. So the next part we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving the villager his items that he's going to plant. So what I like to do is I like to give him wheat as well as seeds. It kind of speeds up the process a little bit. But you don't have to give him this many seeds, you can give him only a stack of seeds and it'll still work just as well. It will take a little bit longer for the actual farm to get going a bit, but I'm only giving him this much just to speed up the process. If you've got a lot of wheat seeds and normal wheat, you can get normal wheat from villagers, you know, you get their hay bales and everything like that. You can get them from that, which is, you get tons of it. I'm going to turn this off for now. This means that all the items won't be collected while he picks up the this. So now I'm going to drop them in. It, it is always best to give him um, wheat seeds, otherwise he won't be able to plant anything. And also wheat itself. Now this part is the long part, because you're going to have to wait now quite a bit for him to start planting all of this in. So this can take quite a long time, but once he's finished, it will the farm will start going and it will actually go quite quickly. You can always expand this and make this bigger, so add extra areas. You can even stack this, but you do have to make sure you have this section here, so... You can't really stack it too much, not as much as the other designs that you have. But then the other designs don't produce wheat, they only produce bread, so they're not as good. So I can turn this on now. It won't be able to collect anything because there's nothing to collect. Now after a while, this guy will start producing wheat, he'll start dropping stuff, and everything like that. Like this one over here, that I showed at the start. So anyway. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.